Uh, let's start with uh, the number one thing that's confusing a lot of people, itong face shields. Ano po ba? Kailangan po bang mag-face shield? Or may, may, mayroon na ba talagang policy on this? Okay, take a deep breath. <laughs> There's so many uh, information and uh, levels of uh, statements made by the President, the Senate President, the Secretary of Health, two undersecretaries of the Department of Health. I hope I can clarify this. Uh, you know, science-based policies are, are always uh, solid, you know. When they say you wear a face shield and it lowers transmission because of the additional barrier, that is true. That is true. But when you apply it as a policy, there is a certain difference because ako, nadapa na ako wearing a face shield, you know, with the mist there and then I missed my step. So there are consequences of the science <laughs> that protects you from transmission. So this is where the debate really is. The debate really is, are there people there who don't want to wear the face shield? Mm -hmm. And for several reasons that may be valid. So I like at the most of all the statements made, I like the most of USEC Bong Vega, and which I think is the one that the IATF eventually prevailed on. And they said that in open spaces, you don't need to wear the face shield. And uh, when you can keep distance from the, from the people around you, you may remove the face shield. But in places where uh, social distancing cannot be, made, cannot be possible, like inside an airplane, inside a confined space, inside the hospital, inside the, the LRT, MRT, jeepney, then it's only logical that you wear additional protection using the face shield. And I will do the same. I will do the same and wear the face shield as an additional protection. So, hey, I Dr. think that's the best Dr. explanation Rebosa. I will make. Uh, na po ha, susundutin ko pa rin. Uh, <laughs> because among the things that you said, you think, I, uh, among the things that have been said, I like. And you said, I think this is what we prevailed upon. This is something to encourage. <laughs> and so, but the question for everyone is, is this policy? So uh, as of now, I'm actually, the policy that's been stated, I think as of noon today, from, uh, I think from the, from the Malacanang is that the IATF technical advisor is asking, is going to request the president na, okay. uh, to, uh, to, to allow the use of the face shield in confined spaces. Yun ang, yun ang ko. And uh, allow, it, make it optional in open spaces, in spaces outdoors. So... So yun yung alam ko, instead of just in the hospital. Because I think the statement quoted from the president, and I don't know if that's policy because that was a conversation between the Senate president and the Philippine president. Uh, I don't know if that's policy already. So I guess they will defer to whatever the technical advisory group of IATF. So there's no confusion. In other words, I'll shorten it and make it. There is no confusion that the face shield affords protection additional protection. Hmm. Where should we wear it? That's where the debate and the policy becomes blurry. So, yun yung, yun yung lang yung ano. And I, I, from my scientific perspective, say you use the face shield when you cannot socially distance, when you are close to people, when you are in a confined space where hmm. the chances of getting infected is higher. Hmm. I, I hope that's clear. Ang confusion nga yung policy. Ang sabi ng DOH eh, until the president approves the IATF recommendation, the status quo stays, which is that, the young regulation on the use of face shields. Okay, Yan so that's the other thing that confused me. So listening to all the reports, and Ami is right, they said status quo. But there were two status quo. Uh, apparently from... Uh, uh, so uh, si presidente na status quo. Yan ang sinabi <laughs> nila. Until so, approved now. So I don't know who said it, but said it's status quo <laughs> until... The appeal of the IATF and the technical expert yes, to the president. The right, right, we wear the face shield. So that's the other status quo. The other status quo is no, the status quo is the president has said we're only in the in the hospital and uh, no need to wear it. It's optional. That's the status quo. So I'm as confused as you are. Mm -hmm. I, I'll have to read in writing what the policy is because this is all all out of news. So uh, maybe I'll just wait for the written one and be able to read for myself what the written policy is. That's eventually, if I'm confused from what people say, I'll wait for the document and the final document with the signed by the official policymaker. 
Iba problematic yan. It indicates a problem in the pandemic response kung ganyang kagulo. In a no, basic, uh, basic protocol like that, hindi tayo magkaintindihan. Doesn't that indicate a deep problem in the response? No, it's it's the same with any, anything. Whether it's law or medicine, you go to a doctor and you go to a second doctor for a second opinion. It's basically the same with a lawyer. You go to a lawyer, you have 10 lawyers, you have 20 interpretations of the law. So I, I see no problem with it. It's always uh, what it needs is clarity so that the people uh, in in the policymakers and the scientists will converge and say the same thing. So I think it all needs just a meeting and a discussion. It will be, it will be ironed out.